Okay, oh, this is the best Cute. 10 second. Uh, <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> first 10 second suit oh server God. ever. Oh, it's like. It's like Piggy in the middle. <laughs> kind of is. Oh, no, you didn't no, 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 Shady. <laughs> He's not dying, is he? It's more hot potato than Piggy. Hey, hey. hey. Shady, you got it. <laughs> Hi, I'm Borkon. You might be wondering what's going on here. And, uh, well, the short story is that a bunch of us have started an SMP together and uh, we are trying out the create mod and seeing if we can uh, do anything interesting with it. I'll let Boyen and our unprepared speeches that we did live explain a little bit more what's going on. Um, <laughs> no, so, uh, yeah, welcome to uh, the Let's Create SMP. The name which was chosen literally 45 minutes ago. Hey, we had lots of preparation. Thanks for the underside. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, oh, well, in the meantime. All right. So, yeah, welcome to the Let's Create SMP, um, where pretty much the five of us are going to be playing the Create Mod together. Um, it's pretty much just vanilla with Create Mod. Six. Six? I can't count. One, two, oh, sorry, I, you can't I, spell. I, I counted five of you, so uh, I don't count myself. I'm not that important. Five and a half. P people are already saying that this is going to be a great series, so... Uh, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm... so I've heard as well. <laughs> yeah, so... Um... Oh, okay, one second. Oh, I yeah, I'm, I'm still going to continue, though. Yeah, please. go for it, go for it. Um, so, yeah, we're... This is pretty much... Uh, just vanilla and create mod for now. There's no a million other mods. Uh, for the people that are completely not familiar with create mod, it's kind of a mod where you get some redstoney new components, um, but they're all very mechanical, using water wheels, cog wheels, and you can do a lot of wacky, crazy stuff with that. Um, and that is pretty much what we're gonna try to achieve here so everyone that you see here is gonna have their own base except for moma and fura who will be sharing a base together and we're gonna yeah all have our own bases have our own contraptions uh, some of us are gonna stream some of us are gonna make videos maybe some of us won't do either um which is which is fine so that everyone has pretty much like their own schedule uh so that's that and then yeah i would just see if we can have a round <laughs> uh go around and since you want to be all the way on the top shady you can start mm -hmm. off as well <laughs> uh, hi i'm shady um i play block game <laughs> <laughs> hi cool. shady he's not uh, he's not I wrong am, i am ruler right now <laughs> my block part uh, uh, no, let, let's at, at least say if you have a channel um and what that channel is oh. about yeah, my channel's Shady Jade, and my channel is uh, Redstone, and single player, and soon more SMP stuff, including this one, and uh, Ambition Craft. Alright. Awesome. Um, Fiora, you, you went a little higher, so... Okay. Um, <laughs> hi, I'm Fiora Hio. Um, okay. Moma Kicks and I pretty much stream together, either on her, her channel, uh, which will be mostly Minecraft-based, or on my channel, which will be other games more or less <laughs> and yeah we'll be building grinding and doing stuff together especially with grinding <laughs> I, I love that everyone's just stepping up to the plate so Momo, you can <laughs> <laughs> it's subconsciously okay <laughs> so, uh, yeah already was a little bit introduced but my name is there Mama. is another book um I do have a YouTube channel, which is called Moma Cakes, just like my Minecraft name. And then a Twitch channel, which is called Mo Moma Cakes YT. <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, I don't upload videos at the moment because I was quite busy moving and I kind of start started streaming. So yeah, it was already said that I stream mostly Minecraft, which at this time will be the create server. And hopefully when 117 drops, some more stuff from my own SMP server. You mean if 117 drops? If 117 um. drops, yeah. <laughs> no, please. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you're uh, watching Mu Yang. <laughs> I have to check the height levels, so I think Borkon's up next. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> you went down there. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> 
I'll be lost. I'm Borkon, <laughs> I'm picking up cobblestone here, and uh, yeah, I do things on YouTube mostly, <laughs> sometimes stream, but it's been sporadic because uh, when I stream, I run out of uh, mana, which, which I announced today. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody called me a nerd when I said that, which was weird. And it's mostly Minecraft. Actually, nerds. it's only I Minecraft. Say, we're all nerds. Yeah. <laughs> Probably. All right, <laughs> and then Mark. <laughs> No, I mean, you're higher. Oh, okay. oh yeah, I'll go. No, I'll go. Okay. I'll go next. Um, yeah, so I'm Mark. Uh, this is my Twitch Hi, Mark. channel. Hi, Mark. Hi, Mark. Um, I also have a YouTube, which is uh, something else. Um, I think it's MC Twiglet. I genuinely forget the channel name all the time. Twiglet MC. There you go. <laughs> I can't remember. Um, and yeah, I mostly kind of build, uh, do a little bit of redstone stuff. So this is just a bit of a brain teaser, really. See what I can get up to. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All right, and then and then finishing off with myself. So yeah, my name is Boyan. Um, it's actually only with one N in the name, but everywhere online, I'm I'm called Boyan with two Ns. Uh, I do very very little bit of YouTube. But generally, I just play technical Minecraft, where I focus on storage tech, and lately I've been playing way too much creative instead of survival, so this this server specifically is meant for me as a way to kind of get back into the survival feel and discover things uh, again, like you would the first time playing Minecraft, but now because it's a mod, you, you would learn about the mod and sets, so that's kind of the, the feeling that I'm hoping to go for here. Um, yeah, that's it for me. So, with that ready, uh, do you guys think that we can survive all the way over to the bases, or do you want to stick around a bit more and, and collect some more items first? Let's get to the bases, I'll see you. So yeah, that's uh, what's going on here. To summarize, uh, this is an SMP with six people, and uh, we are playing with the create mod and pretty much no other mods. Well, client mods are allowed, and of course we're also using the proximity chat mod, which, well, for the first day we were just using it as a group chat, but uh, in the future we'll probably use the proximity feature of it uh, rather than uh, the group chat. You can see in the bottom left of the screen that uh, microphone is crossed out. It means that I'm just muted in game because, well, if someone would be nearby, they could hear me speak and that would be annoying. And uh, this is the area where we decided to set up. It's a bit from spawn, but not too bad. The mountain behind here is mine. I have claimed it. I think the, the little hill here or the bit here is Shady J. Uh, the mesa you might see behind there is where Boyen was supposed to set up, except that he, of course, spends all his time setting up community farms because, well, that's how he is. Uh, the thing is, though, that we kind of decided that everybody should be running their own farms, but uh, then we spent most of the first recording session uh, building this thing here, uh, which is... Uh, some create farms already and of course a villager breeder because you of course need to have a villager setup this is a very very janky villager breeder but it does work two villagers here throw them food roof so they don't get struck by lightning and uh, yeah the babies fall down there and they grow up and it's very noisy and there are some other create farms here of course because the whole plan here is, if we can do something the create way, as you see behind me, that thing is harvesting wheat uh, as food for the villagers. If there is some way to make something the create way, we want to do it the create way, even if it's not as efficient as a vanilla farm would be. So for example, gold. We won't build a gold farm in the never, because well, gold farms in the never are easy and all of us have done so many of them. We, we are going to farm gold the create way, even if it's less efficient. Just to see what we can accomplish within this mod. But before we got there, there was one more important thing that we needed to deal with. <laughs> I, I will okay, die I a lot. I was actually thinking if I shouldn't just, just start everything here by dying so I can get it over with. Yep. Do and don't yeah, have any ambition have... to survive. No, I think we should... Wait, don't... <laughs> 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 so happening. slow with a pickaxe. <laughs> there we go. Okay, who wants to die? Now we get out of the way. There we go. 
No more okay. attempting hardcore. Uh, there's we... still more items here. Okay. We so did he have items, Borkon? I don't remember. You took I think all you my did. stuff. I don't uh, remember you having anything. I mean, I think I kept my eggs. <laughs> so yeah, we eventually left spawn, came to this area. People are setting up their own stuff. I see a dirt hut there. I'm I'm digging into a cave here. And my idea for this series is that I'm gonna try to stay away from exteriors as much as possible. I might completely change my mind tomorrow, by the way. But for now, I want to, well, make my own caves and cliffs because I'm in a cliff and I'm gonna make a cave in the cliff. And uh, I'm gonna try interiors because I have never, never done any interiors. My exteriors still suck terribly, but interiors I haven't even attempted once. So that's what I'm gonna do, but it's still gonna be most the machines. But for now, I'm just gonna do some initial machines that are necessary to get everything running in Create. So let's build our first machine here. And uh, like I said, I went into this pretty much completely blind and uh, yeah this is gonna be a very much a learning experience i haven't tried anything in creative or so i i asked boyan about how to do this and uh, i think this is the correct way to make a windmill uh, uh come on connect connect it's kind of annoying yeah, because the blocks don't always connect the way I want. And I think I need to... It's about how I'm facing. Yeah, it's how I'm facing. We have to scaffold with cobblestone. I need scaffolding and I have bamboo growing here. The problem is that, uh, yeah, I don't have any string. So that's why I'm actually building this machine now. Because I have wool, but I don't have string. And there is a way to get string from wool. A crafting recipe, by the way, that should exist in normal Minecraft, but doesn't. I can right-click this to make it run, yeah. And there is spinach happening over there. I don't know, can I connect a cogwheel? Yes, and then how do I connect this thing? Because I need to connect this thing to that thing. However that works. Maybe like this. I only managed to get the large cogs to, to transfer rotation in, uh, well, at an angle or whatever it's called. Does this thing work now? Does it do anything? No? Why aren't you working? What's wrong with you, machine? Oh, this is a harsh learning experience to go into this completely blind. Uh, wait a minute. So maybe I need now a small cog connected to this somehow? Can I place the small cog here? I can't. Can I place the small cog there? Yeah, but that doesn't do anything. Why did you connect there? I didn't want you to do that. Or maybe I did. Maybe that's exactly what I'm looking for. Because can I place this thing here now? This is so cool. Oh, now it's spinning. Okay, this is very strange. Uh, but I managed to make things spin. <laughs> Yay! It's spinning. And it's so weird to look at myself in an iron armor. But that's what we need to get used to. All my diamonds have gone into this pickaxe. I just want to get some string. That's all I want. The, this whole exercise is just about putting wool into... I don't know how. Do I just toss it like this? Oh, yes, something is happening. And I got one string? Isn't there more? All right. So I toss a wool into this thing. All of this can be automated. So if you don't know how this mod works, everything can be automated eventually. It's just that, well, I don't have the resources to automate anything. And my plan is to build a lot of farms, among other things, an automatic iron farm based on uh, things uh, that are going to be spinning, crushing, and spitting out uh, iron for me eventually. It's probably not going to be as efficient as a normal iron farm, but that's also not the point here. Oh, I already got the string. The point here is to, to, to try to do as much as possible with the create mod and to not use our classic farms because we've built, we've all 
here built classic iron farms and gold farms and mob grinders and, and what have you. And uh, the idea here is even if it's not as efficient, we're going to try to do it with the create mod just to see if we can and just to see what happens. And for example, iron will be one of those things that we're just going to do this way and not the classical way. That's that's one of the rules we had was set for ourselves. And another rule is no elytras. So there's not going to be any flying and uh, we're not going to use shulker boxes either. And that might be very interesting. If, of course, the rules don't work for us, well, then we're going to change them. It's no big deal. But for now, we're going to try to do everything with create and uh, as little as possible with classical farms. Uh, let's see how that goes. All right, I think I have the basics figured out now. Uh, so the small cogs don't appear to be able to connect uh, to change the... the uh, to turn the, the rotation. I have no idea what the terminology here is. I am very sorry. But to change the rotation from horizontal to vertical, I need the big cogs. And that works. And then the small cogs can't be connected to like at 90 degree angle, uh, but they can be connected diagonally to the big cogs. And the small cogs can then drive this milling machine or whatever it was called. What is it called? Uh, millstone. And uh, yeah, I am missing the mini HUD mod so I could look at things without the giant text covering the entire thing. But well, that's fine. And uh, I have also built this thing, which I also forgot what it's called. The mechanical press. Yes, this thing can press things into, well, flatter things. And uh, I need to use this now because we need to create engineer's goggles. Boink. Boing. There we go. How do I get it? I can get it like this. Golden sheet. All right. Uh, this is my humble base. Yes, it's it's very humble beginnings here. Let me just create the goggles here first, because I think they are apparently useful. All right, stress or vision. And now I should be able to see... Ah, yes. So this is generating 512 uh, SU, whatever that is. Stress units, I guess. And this thing is eating 80 stress units and not 80, 8 stress units. I don't think these are eating any stress units. When you're transferring the rotation to other things, that doesn't seem to eat any power. That is nice to know, which means that this tiny little windmill should be able to power everything. I, I was thinking about building a giant windmill on top of my mountain and then power a lot of things through it, but that might actually not be necessary because this tiny little one can generate a lot. And I don't know if this is a lot, maybe this is not a lot. Okay, now I have the goggles, so now I can see what's going on. Now it will also have to create the wrench. I'm using an F major, actually. Show Let's up. create the SMP tonight. Shady heels. Um, and Mark and <laughs> 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 well. okay, totally <laughs> Hi. Hi. Everybody on the streams. I hope you're enjoying us and seeing us do pretty weird stuff on the create mode as <laughs> All right, perfect. This is a long jingle. Yeah, this is yeah, a long jingle. Uh, I don't know if I can edit this into a video. Like, <laughs> Mama, normally you don't write a full musical as a jingle. <laughs> Usually. All right, so I think I have the basic machines set up here. Uh, these are at least the most basic machines I could find that I will probably need early on. Uh, this is a crushy thingy, uh, whatever it's called. Let's throw some sugar cane on it and uh, what is it called? 
It is called Mechanical Press. I already said that earlier, but I already forgot what it was called. But it can crush things into other things, and uh, in this case, I made the sugarcane into paper. This thing is a thing that chews things up, uh, a millstone. I can throw things into it and it will change them to other things. Uh, it's and Unfortunately, the axis here is a little bit awkward. But I think I can throw, for example, cobblestone into this. And what will come out... Well, actually, nothing will come out because I still don't have the components that are throwing things out automatically. But after it stops chewing, I hope I will get gravel now. Yep, I got gravel from cobblestone. So this is one of the ways we will be using to create resources. It's we're gonna have cobblestone generators and then uh, we're gonna be throwing them into various processing stages to get other resources out of them. In this case, we can convert cobblestone into gravel. And this one I haven't tested yet. It's supposed to be a mixer. So one of the most important things in this mod is the andesite alloy, at least in the beginning. Uh, one of the impor most important things I have found right now. And the crafting recipe for it goes something like this. So it is two iron nuggets and two andesite and gives one andesite alloy. And I think this machine should double the efficiency of that recipe. So if I throw in one nugget, and one andesite. Throw in one, one andesite, okay. Does this thing do anything? Or do I have to... Oh no, do I have to power it from the side like this, like I did with that one? I probably need to do that. Let me reconfigure that and we will test this live on camera. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but I hope we're gonna figure it out together. So I'm thinking that if the previous configuration when it was connected to this shaft didn't work, does this work? Because it has a cogwheel on the side. Yeah. It appears that this mechanical mixer is not rotating with enough speed. Let me get my goggles and see uh, what is it is whining about. Uh, uh. Okay, and uh, how do I fix that? Oh no. So, uh, oh, gear ratios. Is this spinning too slow? Can I make that spin faster or do I have to fiddle with gears multiple times? Well, I have to read up about that and uh, let's try again in a few minutes. There we go. Now it's spinning fast enough. That's a lot of gears. I will have to hide this somewhere. I think I'm just going to build a massive windmill on the face of the mountain here. And, uh, wait, so this is eating 128 SU, which I guess is the energy units being used here. And I think this is generating 512. I guess if I add more wings to the windmill, it's gonna spin faster. But first, let's see if this can work now. I need to throw in one of these and one of these. Oh, things are happening, things are happening, things are happening. Mixing it up. Oh yeah, so twice as efficient generation of andesite alloy. <laughs> it might not sound like a big deal, but uh, I, I have no resources here right now. Can I do whole stacks of it? So I would bam, bam, throw it in. The question is, will it produce a whole stack or will it produce them one at a time? Because the, the, the pressers or crushers or whatever they were called, mills, uh, were only doing one item at a time. Well, something is happening. It is spilling a lot of stuff. So that is probably a wasteful process. But yeah, six andesite alloy. Oh, yeah. Right. Now what we need to do is to take all this and try to organize it in some kind of neat and uh, prettier way and hide it inside the mountain somehow. Please give your statements about my windmill. What have you done to my windmill? I haven't done anything. What have you done to your windmill? You I have just, not done I, anything to my windmill. So I just arrived to, at, at work on space, right? And I look at this windmill and it's a square. I don't know. <laughs> the, the, the guy has no clue what ge geometry is. I don't know well, that's what true, he was but... thinking. But it seems to turn around and quite fast, I might add. So maybe he, maybe it was a good idea with what Borkom did there. <laughs> you ruined my windmill. I'm going to find it. <laughs> 
By the way, I'm filming that I am very far from the base right now. Let's let me see. Let let me turn on the waypoints in uh, in 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 my map thing, right? And then we're looking at the base. It's 2,500 blocks from here. Someone ruined my windmill. <laughs> but it's faster, so I'm happy about that. It's fine. <laughs> So yeah, I can see that something is funky. I was out gathering resources really far away and uh, Boyan and Shady J were just giggling and um, apparently Boyan did something to my windmill and what in the world is that? What has he done? Well, let's see if it actually works uh, or did he just completely break it? Is, it? is it the prank gone wrong or did he just improve it in a very weird way? So this is not the way a windmill should look like, but uh, you saw just recently how fast it was spinning, so how... Oh! Oh, I like this. Well, he maybe ruined my wind... Why is it clipping through the, the, the ground? And why are those holes there? But uh, other than that, I'm, I'm, I'm liking it. So we are sharing at least some of the machinery in the beginning here and, and, and resources and stuff like that because, of course, not everybody can do everything at the same time. And a thing that uh, we have decided, I don't know if like this is not a rule on the server or anything, but at least me and Boyan have decided that we're not going to do anything in creative. Uh, we're just going into this completely blind and figure everything out in uh, survival. Just to see if, like, if some people are not used to playing, uh, well, survival the way we do, which is design everything in creative and then just use schematics and to bring it over to survival. What can be done when you're going in completely blind, not knowing the mechanics and just experimenting your way forward in survival? That's the idea here. And I guess, well, this is an experiment... I don't know. I don't know if this experiment has gone right or gone wrong, but it was an experiment. I will experiment and see how fast this is going and if it's going to go as fast if I just make very long blades on the windmill. I don't know what, what to do about this. Maybe I'm just going to leave it. But yeah. We are doing lots of just random guesses. Like recently we went to a nearby Mushroom Island somewhere over there uh, just to see if the saw thing, because there is a saw machine uh, that can chop down entire trees at the same time. It's a little bit overpowered, but we're going to use it because, well, it's part of the mod. There are some parts of the mod that we decided not to use, but the saw we're definitely going to use because that's the way to get wood in this mod. And uh, we experimented to see if it works on mushrooms. It doesn't. But there were also some other experiments. The items are flying. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh, if you connected a chest to the piston, would that yeah. pick it up? Yeah. Automatically? So, so, yeah, yeah, that's what I, what I did the previous time. I just wanted to show you this bug this time. But uh, what I did that's is... That's funny. I... I, I Attached it to a piston with a chassis and then stuck uh, the, the saw and uh, a chest to it and then just picked up everything at once. But you have to see, it's it's behind this mountain. It's, it's The logs are going freaking far. Now I have to pick That's this all up. That's hilarious. <laughs> but if the chest is connected to that thing, so everything ends up and the... That's overpowered. I mean, the, 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 the automatic pickup is, is a little bit too much for me. Yeah, yeah. It, it feels like they cheated a little bit there with the mod. But I see why, because... Well, no, actually, no, I don't see why. Because this is still... Like, it's still relatively trivial if the logs were... No, e even, e even if the logs behave the way they just did, it should be relatively trivial to pick everything up with water streams and building a, a building around this thing. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, but pretty much uh, just everything with a, a moving contraption just does it this way. The harvesters as well. Yeah. Just, it, it's just a general rule, I guess, that they have in, in create. And I think it's literally just to be beginner friendly. I don't think there is a, a different reason for that. Yeah, I guess so. Because, it's, yeah, modded has less playtime, right? You won't have as technical players. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, yeah, you're making good points. 
but uh, I want to see what we can push it to some limits <laughs> by doing some crazy stuff like this. I mean, you could wait a minute. How? What's the limit on the number of blocks this this thing can break? It might be infinite. It's it's just about what it considers a trade. Exactly. I'm thinking like if if they didn't code in any limits for that. And why should they? Because nobody would do something crazy like this. <laughs> this could be an update suppressor. Probably, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not try that. <laughs> but actually, so, so... let's try that. No, let, I, I'm gonna try it some some points. I, I'm gonna warn you first, so you can take a backup. But yeah, <laughs> definitely do that. You know how they say that it's not about the size of your windmill, but how you use it. Well, I, I have no idea how to use it, so I just made it big. Yeah, uh, I moved the windmill to the side of the mountain here. It's probably not going to stay here permanently. I'm going to probably move it to this side at some time in the future because I have other plans for this side. But for now, it, it can stay here and uh, generate a lot and a lot of power. So it's the same windmill that Boyen uh, the mutated over there. It's the same amount of sales because I think it seems that only this amount of sales matters for uh, how well it performs. Uh, so it's the same amount. I just made it straight. That's it. And I have to adjust things down here because it is clipping uh, through the stone and that is not correct. Unfortunately, that means that it is, uh, well, it is eating into this whatever it is a tongue that is sticking out from the mountain i guess it is a tongue now and uh yeah i you know maybe it will just do this thing it's also interfering slightly with my bridge here and as you just saw it pushes me around i'm gonna try something Ooh, it pushed me around a lot i might die but it would be funny so i'm gonna try it anyway we okay it pushes me quite hard can i get up to the top of the mountain with it that would be interesting so yeah this is this is what the series is about trying to see if we can do something stupidly crazy with the create mod that was good ooh, 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 ooh. i almost well it didn't take me to the top of the mountain but maybe this could be used as some kind of transport system ow ow yeah uh, i will now fall down and die but let me show you what's on the other side of the windmill because that is interesting too. And for that, I need to go back into my base somehow. And I don't know. Uh, can I go here? Maybe. Was this a bad idea? Probably. I still need to learn how to navigate around here. I can go down uh, here. Yeah, perfect. Good. So this is where the machinery was. And this is my new workshop. It is slightly better. I mean, at least aesthetically. Also, it is faster. I can throw in uh, wool in here, a whole stack, and it eats a stack of wool in 20 seconds. Then also the mixer is mixing my andesite alloy super fast, so it's really nice. And uh, yeah, as I figured out or guessed, and I think I was right, uh, building the shafts that are transferring the spinny power, well, it's not a problem. I can make them as long as I want them. Uh, the gearboxes or the gear shifters. What? What? This is the generator, right? And uh, I don't. The goggles are not showing me that the, these are using anything. And it's the same thing with this. What is this? This is a gearbox. Yeah. The gearboxes are not eating anything either. So I think we're fine. I think this is not eating any extra power when the generator is far away, and that's actually good because then we can do. Lots of interesting things in here. I'm gonna probably make the windmill even bigger and connect even more machines in the future. But not now, because I've been already progressing too much. So as a little bit of information, the way we have decided to play this series is that we have days when everybody is online. And uh, that's when we progress, and that's when we build new things, etc. And uh, people shouldn't get too far ahead of others. So I guess grinding is okay if you need to get materials or something like that. And I decided like this, this, these things here I did uh, like long after uh, we did the stream day or the, the day when everybody was online. 
Uh, and uh, yeah, I, I, I had to do it so it would make sense for the video because I didn't want to interrupt the video in the middle. But in the future, we're going to try to stay more or less in sync that my plan is basically I make new things during the stream hours when everybody's online and then I'm going to polish things and grind and uh, improve, uh, well, later and make that into videos. I have decided to not stream from this world, for now at least, because, well, uh, lots of us share the same viewers and, and I don't want to steal other people's viewers and uh, I am more comfortable with doing videos than streaming. Maybe I will stream on an off day if we have some uh, grind to do or something like that. Anyway, that should be it for me today. I hope you enjoyed and I hope that you also learned something about this mod and I really, really recommend you to try it because even the few things I have tried already are pretty awesome. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye.